Tell us about R. R is a film where everyone speaks like monkeys. <laughs> There's no dialogue in it. It's set in South London, um, in a very ordinary, recognisable environment. But instead of speaking, people go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's your favourite line in the film? <laughs> How did you come up with it? Uh, Julian Lloyd tucked us. And uh, how did you come up with this crazy fucking concept? Well, uh, I came up with this. Uh, f I've been thinking about it for a long time because I've always liked and found hilarious how similar we are to apes mm -hmm. in our normal lives. You know, everything we do, uh, uh, and just uh, all that shit. And it, it's, we never really, yeah, that's yeah. right, we never reference it, and it, it makes me. Laugh, and so I thought, oh, let's just let's just take it one step further and scrape away a layer of language and see, uh, yeah, see what see what happens. And you had no <laughs> studios or anybody interfering in this no. this concept, so I'll be, I That's guess right. you could basically do whatever the hell you wanted. Yeah, we literally went ape <laughs> by ourselves <laughs> in a in a flat for two weeks. And yeah. where did you shoot it? Uh, we shot, we had the use of a flat, and, um, and we so we had basically had this very simple, ordinary flat which we could use and shot it all around South London and, and in various locations. But that flat must have got absolutely trashed yeah, because I mean you don't bit, yeah. you don't do it a lot of favours, do you? You know? No. Who's so whose flat was it? Yeah, it's uh, it's just a friend of ours who we borrowed it off. So, uh, <laughs> let's uh, it's a big cleaning bill. And you've got a great cast. I mean how did you pull all those uh, cats and dogs together? Well, the cast come, come from uh, a mixture of friends and people I've worked with for a long time, and then new people like Toya Wilcox, who mm. I just took a punt to yeah, the yeah. script, and she uh, and she is fantastic. Yeah, it? she's a, a, yeah, absolutely hilarious in it, and uh, yeah, so but a lot, you know, a lot of people, it's, it's sort of happened quite organically. You know, people mm. like Tom and Sean, who I've worked with for years doing live live comedy, and mm -hmm. Julian Barrett and Noel. Who so, it was like, yeah. so yeah, it's just like mates really, pissing around, pretending to be apes. Yeah. So what's the deal, for example, with somebody like Toya, did you reach out to her and did you say, cause you actually wrote a script for this, it's a fully scripted... That's right, yeah. ...in the human language... It is. ...form. Yeah. yeah. And then they had, were they allowed to like fully improvise themselves? Or yeah. Did, or did you give them some guidance as to that word means that gesture or Well, we did, it, we did it really uh, in a much, in a much more vague way so we had we had the script written out in in, in English mm -hmm. and so we'd start the scene by just doing the scene in English so people right. would read it and be humans yeah and then I went oh, just go ape and we chucked the scripts away and and we just sort of saw what happened and how it worked and we kind mm. of crafted it I just let I let the uh, the the actors find their own language so sure and everyone does it slightly differently like so Toya's Toya's quite Toys, <laughs> and then you got someone like Sean Reynard who is more like, <laughs> so it's like, just leave it up to the actors and see what happens. Because what's cool about the movie, it's kind of come full circle, isn't it? Because we had the world premiere last this time last year at Fry Fest of you uh, introducing the very first footage from it. Yeah, that's you remember. Right, yeah, and we were sat on next to the st on the stage. Looking at it, and I turned yeah. to him and said, "What the fuck is this?" Because <laughs> yeah. it was like sixty seconds of it or something. It was like yeah. a weird fever dream. So tonight is the premiere. Are you looking yeah. forward to it? Oh, it's it's amazing. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Real people will be seeing it. Terrifying. Real yeah, and I'm so pleased to be here because I think it's a brilliant place to show. Oh, it. thanks. And, uh, we had a we had that was great showing that little clip. You know. Yeah. So I, I showed that when I was. I was in a fever dream, going mad, mm -hmm. editing it, uh, and uh, yeah, just I just chuck something together and see how it went, and it was great to get that response from the Fry Fest. Yeah, and well, it went great. I, I said, what the hell was that? I mean, <laughs> it was like, what? Going on. do you think we're going to get some of that reaction tonight of like yeah, saying WTF, you know? Yeah, WTF. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> tell us about the distribution of the film. Obviously, we're pleased and proud that it's on the Fry Fest label, yeah. so it's on Fry Fest Presents uh, in October. Um, what are the other distribution plans for it, either worldwide or in the UK? Well, we have obviously the, the big one is the uh, yeah the Fright Fest with uh, with the Icon deal, mm -hmm. which I think is yeah really exciting. So yep. they're doing all our VOD stuff, and yep. but we're taking it all around the world. Um, theatrically, we, we we've got a, a hook up with um, Pitch House Cinema, so we'll be 
travelling around the country with Pitch House, um, playing at various venues, doing these one-off dates really, mm -hmm. uh, where cast that I'll be, I'll be at most of them that I can get to, and all the cast will be there as well. So it'll be kind of should be a good laugh. Be a lot of people pretend to be apes. <laughs> like so it should be a really good fun and festivals as well. Yeah, we've got got a load of them coming up. And, so. and what's next? Is it going to be R two, as in R two? Uh, or not R two two. That's right. Return to R. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping it becomes a massive franchise, Paul. Yeah. Uh, you know, like Planet of the Apes. And yeah. It could be a, could a massive be. multi-million dollar science fiction it remake. Could about. be. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm open to offers. So. <laughs> <laughs> What is next, Steve? What are you up to? Well, I've been, uh, yeah, the, the follow up to this is that I've got another script that I've been working on, which, um, yeah, we'll hopefully go into some sort of production with that next year. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a bit early to discuss sure. properly, but I've been doing lots of acting as well this year. Yeah, you was in a yeah, horror film in it was Ireland. A horror film in Ireland, yeah, called A Dark Song with uh, Catherine Walker. That was a really intense uh, film we, uh, where I was playing an occultist. Yes, go, very serious. It was piece, really it? intense. Yeah. yeah, go, go, we go, we go to a, myself and Catherine Walker, Walker go to a house and perform a Crowley-esque ritual for months oh, on yeah. end. It's so intense, brilliant. It was great. Really it's looking forward to that. Really one, cool, though. really cool. Film, so you yeah. do seem to have done. I mean, obviously you've got the comedy background, but you've done quite a lot of genre stuff over the years. Yeah, you yeah. was in the Canal last year as well. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, and obviously sightseers, Ben's sightseers picture, which I know is not horror, but it's, it's, it's amazing. Touching on. Yeah, yeah touching sort of something, it, isn't it? Touching definitely. <laughs> the things I have touched in yes, my career. Yes. <laughs> well, watch this film, watch R. There's a lot of touching going on, there's a lot of fiddling going on. There is a lot of fiddling and a lot yeah, of touching. A lot yeah. of touching. There's some, yeah, we won't spoil it, will we? No, a lot of no. filth. Mm -hmm.